So I'm given a solid S, and it's defined by being bound by z equals x squared plus 1, y equals 1, y equals 2, and z equals 3. So you probably noticed I'm missing something here. It only means x bounds. So that's what I did first. I projected the S into the xy plane. So I have z equals x squared plus 1 and z equals 3. Set those equal to each other, and I can get the x values of their points of intersection. So 3 equals x squared plus 1 got me x equals plus and minus root 2. So now I have x bounds, y bounds, and z bounds. So I'm ready to start integrating. I'm going to go and put the x bounds on the outside, and then y. They're both constants, so it doesn't really matter which order I integrate in. And then y is from 1 to 2. Now I want to set my z bounds. So remember, we go lower bound to upper bound. So here, the x squared plus 1 is actually on the bottom. So if I think about drawing a line up like this, I hit x squared plus 1 before I hit 3. So that needs to be on the bottom. And then I'm calculating volume, so I'm just integrating dv, so like 1. And then I have dz, dy, and dx. So integrating 1 with respect to z is just going to get me z. Let me go ahead and do that. And I want to evaluate z from x squared plus 1 to 3. dy dx. So let me go and plug in 3 first for z. And then I want to subtract x squared minus 1. Mm, x squared plus 1. So I'm looking at 3 minus x squared minus 1. Well, 3 minus 1 is 2. Let me go ahead and fix that. So now I'm ready to integrate with respect to y. So 2 minus x squared is just a constant. So I'm going to get two minus x squared minus y. So I'm in my other integrand, and I'm ready to evaluate from y equals one to y equals two. DZ still tagging along. All right, move up here. So first, I'm going to plug in two for y. So 2 times 2 minus x squared. And now I want to plug in 1 for y. So that's just 2 minus x squared. So these are like terms. So I'm going to go and subtract. 2 minus 1 is 1, so I'm just left with 2 minus x squared. That's a little bit easier. So now I'm ready to integrate with respect to x. So 2 becomes 2x, and x squared becomes 1 third x to the third. And I'm ready to evaluate. So my lower x bound is negative root 2, and my upper x bound is positive root 2. So let me go ahead and plug in root 2. So root 2 minus, and uh, root 2 to the third is going to be 2 square roots of 2. Right? Okay. So now I want to plug in negative root 2. I'm going to subtract all of that. So 2 times negative root 2 is negative 2 square roots of 2. And negative root 2 to the third is negative 2 square roots of 2. Plus, so I'm ready to add these up. Plus, plus, minus. So 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2 is 4 square roots of 2. 
and negative 2 square roots of 2 over 3 minus 2 square roots of 2 over 3 is 4 square roots of 2 over 3. So subtract, I'm going to get to 8 root 2 over 3. And that's my answer for the volume of S.